My name's Colin Lee. Uh, some of you might know me by the pretentious nickname Colin the Shots. Uh, I am a senior engineer. I work for uh, Mozilla on our Android projects. Uh, some of you may know Mozilla. We've been around for a long, long time. Uh, actually, a couple of decades. Uh, we make this product called Firefox. It's a leading web browser with a strong privacy mission. I'm actually one of seven remote employees working for Mozilla here in the near the Twin Cities area, area uh, working on various different teams, and we're always looking for remote talent, so if, you, if you're interested in that stuff, check it out. Um, great place to intern, too. Um, I, th we actually had an Android product long before this thing uh, that I'm gonna talk about today. It was called Firefox for Android. Came out in 2010, uh, back when Android was this newish thing. Um, and it, today it has tens of millions of users, despite being a non-default uh, browsing option on uh, your Android phone. So people could have to go to the Play Store, download it, and yet we still have tens of millions of users. So it was written in 2010, it was it's using an old browsing engine. Uh, and we're, today I'm introducing to you a brand new browser for Android called Firefox Preview. It's fast, it's private, and it's full feature. So why, why is Firefox Preview fast? First of all, we spent over two years working on the Gecko View browsing engine. It has all the new hot stuff from Servo and all the other code names you might know if you're really geeky. Uh, it's, um, we also have a web render coming very soon, a new graphics rendering thing to go underneath the rendering engine that we produced. Uh, we put in, and I know this personally, painstaking manual optimizations. And so all of this means that as of today, uh, Firefox Preview is over twice as fast as the old Firefox for Android. <laughs> Secondly, Firefox Preview is private. It has always-on tracking protection. So here, if I go to, let's pick out, uh, sure, CNN. Um, just pick out a website at random. Uh, it, you have protection from social media trackers, crypto miners, device, or websites that will try to fingerprint you, and other kinds of content tracking, as you can see in that little box right there. Um, here, we'll take a look at CNN, and you are being tracked because it's blue. And as you can see, it blocked a heck of a lot of trackers. Oh. Here it is, tracking content. So that one is, uh... Wow. <laughs> They're not the worst, don't get me wrong. News sites are terrible. Um, a, a study recently found that the top 500 sites used on the internet actually load two times slower when you load trackers. So this will speed you up too. Firefox Preview is also private because we have a private browsing mode uh, with lots of privacy features related to that. If, I, if I'm on the home screen here, right at the very top, there's a button. It takes us right into private mode. And actually, I can uh, create a home screen button that will go straight into private mode at any time. And so now, anybody who uses my phone doesn't have to see all of the uh, you know, medical information I just looked up. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, also, Firefox Preview is full featured. Full featured. Uh, it has uh, this new concept called collections. I, I actually showed you a little bit earlier um, at the bottom here. I'm just going to get rid of these. So, um, the, the way that we use browsers has changed a lot over the years, and certainly on mobile, it's totally different experience than desktop. Um, the thing about collections is we, we, we oftentimes we want to, when we're browsing, we don't just want to share out, save one tab to a bookmark and get back to it. We actually want to save our entire session. And so here, for example, uh, I'm looking up information about Startup Week, and I can very quickly open all of the tabs I had open before and see everything about my Startup Week experience. Uh, you, you can also, just, just as easily, Go to that and share all of those tabs to your friends. Oops. 
Of course, being a, uh, a modern Android app, we, we would not be a good app if we did not have a built-in dark theme. <laughs> Oops, there we go, turn that back on. There we are. So um, I, this actually saved real battery, I'm not making that up. Um, another thing you might have noticed so far is that uh, our, all of our controls now are on the bottom. And this means something. We all have six inch phones now, or most of us, and our thumbs don't reach that far unless you're Shaquille O'Neal. Um, in addition, uh, Firefox Preview has all the things you expected from the old Firefox for Android. It syncs bookmarks and history. We have a, a search widget, if I go to home screen here. So from the search widget, I can very easily search, show me flights to Aruba. And uh, just like that, it uh, sends it right into my browser, and there you go. Um, so you, so you, can, you can search straight from your home screen. Um, we also have background media controls, which is uh, great, because you can control your Spotify or your, uh, in this case, I can just rickroll you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let's say it's start, there we go. Rick roll, okay, it's still loading. Wake up, there we go, there we go. Okay, I can, I can, I can pause Rick right from the, uh, the notification there. And uh, um, the great thing is, not only can I do that, but I can save him to the home screen, just like that. And now I can Rick roll you at any time. <laughs> Let's see, there we go. I can go straight to private mode. All right, um, so it, it, we got lots of great features coming up, you know, desktop shortcuts, we got uh, PWAs, progressive web apps, TWAs, all kinds of privacy features I can't even tell you about yet. Uh, but the great thing about this is it's all open source. Uh, you can find a stable version of this today on the Play Store, just search for Firefox Preview. But if you really want the new hotness, you can go out and look for Firefox Preview Nightly. Nightly means it's less stable, but it helps us test new features coming out on a daily basis. Um, so we're actually on GitHub. We're actually at one of the top trending Kotlin projects on GitHub. Uh, we have Phoenix and Android components are the two pieces that build this browser. And we have over 150 contributors so far. So my call out to you is you should download our browser, give it a try. If you really love it, you should contribute. Uh, find any way you know, to, to give back and, and just really enjoy a great uh, open source project. I'll be speaking in uh, Copenhagen at uh, KotlinConf about how to build your own browser-like app using all of these open source tools. And so it's gonna be really exciting. A lot of cool stuff coming this way uh, that I can't even tell you about yet. Thank you.